see rights of engineers uh, professional rights employee rights intellectual property rights and discrimination okay so these are the different rights that we have as engineers what are the professional rights the basic rights of engineers include the right to live freely pursue legitimate interests as any human being along with the right to be against racial discrimination against sexual discrimination receiving one's salary according to the work done choosing of political activities as other employees so there are certain rights that i have as an engineer okay and that is what i call that is what i call professional professional rights okay now see the right to perform and express one's professional judgment freely see as an engineer i have the right to understand and express what are the engineering related judgments that i have now the second one is if i am working in an organization if it is if somebody above me or my colleague tells me to carry out something illegal unethical i have the right to refuse i have the right to say that i am not going to do anything unethical as an engineer because i know if i do something unethical it is going to affect the people around me very bad okay so this is my professional right to say no to illegal unethical activities now the next point is as an engineer i know i have confidentiality obligations but keeping up the confidentiality obligations i can i have the or the responsibility or the right to talk publicly about my work keeping all rules and regulations in my mind okay so if i am doing something i can keep confidential information safe within me and i have the right to talk publicly about the product that i am designing for the community okay now i can be connected to any professional societies i can be a member of institution of engineers india i can be a member of ist i triple s i i there are so many professional societies and professional bodies which help us to grow as engineers in a group so that is my professional right then my client it is my right to protect my clients and the public from all dangers that might arise from my work see when i am designing an object i should keep in mind every person who is going to use it so it is my right to protect my clients okay the right to professional recognition of one's services see when i serve the society it is my right to be professionally recognized when i do something properly i should be awarded for it if if i have been working as a very good uh, engineer for long it is my right to get promotion and salary so professional rights are right of professional conscience this is what i told about moral autonomy see when i am working in an organization i know as an engineer my life experience has told me what is right and what is wrong so i have the moral autonomy to decide what to choose i am a person who if i am an ethical engineer i will choose the right path this is called moral autonomy now right. now what is right to conscientious refusal that is what we discussed earlier 
if my employer or if my colleagues force me to do something unethical i can consciously say my conscience if it tells me this is wrong i can say no i'm not going to do something unethical which is going to affect the society around me badly now what is the right to recognition fair pay see when i work as an engineer i'm supposed to be getting a fair salary as years go by as my experience increases the organization is supposed to be giving me a salary hike according to the services that i have given to that company now what are my rights as an employee see as an employee everything that i do cannot be looked into by my employers i have a certain limit of privacy okay so there should be an extent to which the company or my employer can pry on me okay so privacy is one right as an employee equal opportunity is another very very important thing that i require as an employee see in places in workplaces discrimination is a very very common thing if you very carefully watch certain organizations there are organizations which have a male and a female engineer who have the same qualification who have the same experience but the male engineer may be paid a higher salary this is a very common discrimination which we have come across in many places gender discrimination in workplace even if the male and the female employee have the same education have the same abilities have the same characteristics have the same leadership qualities we have come across many organizations who pay the male counterpart more than the female counterpart so this is one right as an employee which we can question the employer so we should open our mouth against gender discrimination we as professors when we teach our students we should be telling them to raise their voice against gender discrimination in the work place sexual harassment in the workplace is another issue that comes up at times and it is a right of an employee to speak up against sexual harassment okay so as a as an engineer as an employee we should be able to stand up and talk against such discriminations that we face while we work as an employee in an organization